Can you see a trip? I think so. Something weird happened. Googan, I wasn't paying attention. Wait, we turned in 100. Are we kidding? We oh jumped. Why is it going? I have a fish. What? I have a fish. What? Because the drag is so high. There's a there fish. There it goes. There it goes. Start reeling. All right, get this up so I can reel. Yeah. Thank you. I just want to clear it over here. All right, guys, fishing at a point today. I don't know. He might have pulled off. I don't feel him. Put her off. Sorry. He's off. Yeah. It wasn't very big. All right, keep going. Whoop! Fish we got a on. fish over here. Fish on. All right. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Why you? We're getting some weird bites. Woo! All right. So yes, out of Boynton today. If you're new to the channel, we're a Florida fishing couple. I'm Darcy. That's Ryan, aka Puddin. And uh, we just got a couple bites on the planer rods. We have full moon tomorrow, and hopefully we'll catch some awesome collegiates today. But we've got a fish on this long line. That was way out there. Right? No. With the planer trip. Sure, yeah, it's a long planer. Clearing a rod. We always keep the boat in gear. When we are trolling, we want to keep the hook tight in the fish's mouth. We're doing a planer bridle system. I'm going to move this over here so you guys can see better. It's not the nicest day out here in the world. A little bit on the bumpy side. Windy. Real. Real. But this is good practice for whatever it could be. Yes, I got the gaff ready. I'm actually ready to catch a fish today for a change. Could be a bonita or a kingfish. Yep. Could be anything. Bonita? No. Looks like it. Yeah. No, it's a little longer than a bonita. It might be a king. Yeah, king. All right. Up, 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 up. Nice job. In the eyeball. Yeah. Great job. Not Woo! too bad. Broke the skunk off just like that. I'm all turned around like an idiot. All right. It's been a while <laughs> since we've been out here. All right, kingfish in the boat. That's exactly what was happening. We were getting tripped by all these kingfish schools yes. in shallow. Yep, that's a, just like we always do, we got a blue sea witch on that side. I want those bonita chips from Darcy. Very nice. sweet. Very that's good. what we call a snake king that's excellent eating right there. Yeah. Whoa, we got both rods screaming. I took. Woo! What do you want me to do, baby? So I think I dropped the drag too much. Why is he screaming? So I, I did drop the drag down. He's definitely screaming, though. All right. All right, guys. A double header on the planer rods. I don't know how this one's not tripped. We slow down the boat just a tad so we can get the lines and actually reel, gain line on these fish. It's getting rougher as we're out here, and we don't have a dedicated driver on the wheel. So we're just doing our best. All right. I'm going to take the planer off. Okay, 100 feet to the leader. Some kind of mackerel. Cuda. Woo! Look at that cuda, baby! Monster cuda! Holy moly! Oh, oh my feet, god, that's a cuda! That's a monster! Woo! Not oh, I got only the, I, if that fish. I got the gaff on him. Not only if that fish had stripes, right? Still cool. But that's great practice. We always say that. Even though a lot of people consider that big old cuda maybe a trash fish, that's practice for when you catch that 50 pound wahoo on your line. Oh, the fish is smoking line right now. I just dropped it a little bit. There you go. See collar. Get ready. What is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Jack. Look at that. Look at that. No way. First time ever, monster jack of all. <laughs> what? Oh my god. What right now, bro? What? Ugh. We just put a 20 pound jack of all in the boat on the troll. <laughs> Never happened in our entire lives. Ever. Jesus. What? what right now? Okay, this is the day for like weird stuff to happen. What an epic double header is that? I don't what know about big fish. I don't know about epic, but just odd. What right now? It's a monster. Absolute monster of a Jack Craval. We also call those canal tunas, but that's a beast. 20 pounder at least. 15, Good 20 pounds. Mom. Big fish. We're going to go ahead and dunk them in head first. Whew. All right. I mean, that was hooked so well, right in the bony part, just past it. That long shank hook just had them anchored. Got to stay away from the reef. <laughs> Apparently, you kept telling me go shallow or go shallow. Well, we've caught fish. Every time we go shallow, we catch a fish. Yeah. I thought those were all going to be kings. I had no clue there was going to be a monster kudo in a freaking 
jack. Yeah, every time we go close to the roof, we catch some sort of donkey. So we gotta stay away from the reef a little bit, try and catch maybe, maybe a mahi or a wahoo. Maybe that's where the fish are. Maybe that's where the pelagics are. I don't know, we haven't caught a pelagic yet, or a real one, but. A real pelagic. All right, here he is. You gotta, you're gonna have deep drop bait for 100 years now. Yup. That's the biggest kuda we've in caught in a while. In one of the times, I mean, I've never been able to get a kuda the last few months. Yeah, now all of a sudden now we can't get away Now all of a sudden, every trip out, we're catching monster kudas. So, big old kuda. I'm allowed one over 36 inches long per day as an angler, so we're gonna keep this one for deep drop bait. Yeah. We can't eat them. Too big. Yeah. Might have Signatera. <laughs> Definitely. Giant kuda. Just wish he had beautiful stripes. All right, finally gotta reset it after that monster fish. Two monster fish. <laughs> it's, the weatherman was wrong. It's a little bumpy out here. Yeah, for our little boat. So yeah. when the weatherman's very wrong about our little boat, it's very off. Yeah, you know, it's not too bad, but you know, we're always out there following our jeans and trying to have a good time with my girlfriend. It's just like... We're freezing. I mean, it's like windy. <laughs> There's no Boston. bikinis. Nope. Justin 20 knots. Brian literally put a jacket on because he was crying how cold it was. I did. I told him it was cold. But yeah, north wind howling right now. Yeah, it was, and, well, uh, if it was north wind, it might be a little better. It's more, almost like, you know, it was west, and now it's a little northwest. I guess it's supposed to come around. It's more north in it. Yeah. But, but you know, here, people are talking about wind direction. Here, here, we have a west wind that pushes fish away from the shore. And so you want to have an east wind to push up close to shore. And, uh, but more wind is also more fish, so, you know, it gets the, creates like a surface current and it flyers a lot. So we see a lot of flyers, but we don't really see a lot of fish we actually want to eat. Not yet. I'm not going to stay out here all day busting my butt, not just to make a YouTube video, but, you know, we don't have to be out here. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, it's not nice. It's literally whistling around the boat, like the wind. Yeah. And um, we are out here. We're giving it a good shot, so we'll see how long it lasts. What was it, 930? Yep, that's all we can do, and hopefully you didn't get seasick watching this. <laughs> Camera. That wasn't a very big fish. Well, you see, it's doubled over. See, Probably it doubled seaweed. over? Probably seaweed. It's a fish. Oh, a little, yeah, look at that. It's a little bonita. We didn't even know we had a fish on, guys. <laughs> Another fish in the boat. Smallest bonita ever. I think I'll so, just throw them back. That species number sure go ahead. That species number four, I would keep that fish for bait, but you saw how big he was. We're not gonna get a very big strip out of that. So we're gonna toss him back. Maybe it'll be good for good luck. All right. You gotta get those back fast. Those yes. tunas like to swim. You gotta keep swimming. If the second they stop swimming, they start dying. Okay. What about this? Now it looks like we're in different seas. It's flat calm because we're close to shore. So it's just interesting. Four species. So you went shallow? See, I told her to go shallow. Not too shabby. I said I was going shallow. <laughs> I told you to go shallow before. You didn't say crap. No, but then you told me stay off the reef because of all the big fish and trash Because of the crab fish. And we caught yeah. another crab fish. So Brian told me to leave the shallow water. And we left the shallow water and haven't caught anything. And then I just told him I was going back to shallow water. And I just caught fish. She wanted to catch more crab fish. Ew. At least we got some action. Putting fish in the boat. At least we got some action. Yeah. That was not a fish in the boat, it was a fish out of the boat. That was a fish in the boat. We landed four <laughs> species now. He's not in the That's boat. That's not nothing. That's a good day of trolling so far. Even though it's not really anything we're excited to eat, it's still four different species. What the freak? Right? You sound like a crappy fisherman. I'm serious. They were all big kudas, big jack. We never caught a big jack trolling. All right, guys, was, there's no current out here and we just we gonna try some different spots, find that I'll see more maps, and I just got this trigger fish. Beautiful trigger, which are actually kind of delicious. This is too small. Oh. That was nice. But anyway, I got this trigger. They lock themselves in the reef or in holes using this, and the trigger because you can't push this down. Like, I can't. This makes it go down. So it's a trigger. There's the trigger. Here, you, you literally can't push this. Like, <laughs> you can't do it. You can't do it. This just goes right down. Boop. All right, let's get rid of them. Really thick skin. If you want to clean them, they got a soft spot right here. Knife goes right here. Then you clean them. Right, Sizzle? Yes. Whew, I don't want to Careful get. Careful now. I know. I don't want to get stuck. We're gonna get stuck. Oh, I know. That's why I threw them. There we go.
Woo, another great day in the water though, Sizzle. Awesome day. We got lots of stinky fish, I'm excited. Woo! <laughs> now at least we want fish in the boat. It's always a learning lesson out there, man. I mean, all, that's just years of experience and years of days out there and learning and yeah. And then after bottom fishing and realizing that something's wrong on the bottom, it was time to go home. Yeah, you know, this challenge is about following your dreams and having a great time in the water. And you know, not every show is gonna be uh, a highlight reel, like like fish, on cable. Man. Yeah, we've caught a, biggest jack we've caught in years, biggest barracuda we may have ever caught. Yeah. Kingfish. Can't complain about that. You know, you gotta be out there to catch them, and uh, yeah, always a pleasure. We've had days where we got zero, so I'm happy. I'm That's very right. happy, and you don't see those zero days. All right, guys, but thank you for joining us on today's adventure. We're gonna be right back out there again tomorrow. So stay tuned for our next awesome adventures. And until then, follow your dream and keep on catching. I gotta take the plug out. That's what she said. See, Darcy's, that, that's, Darcy has to do everything I herself. Do, otherwise, I, other, because, no. Yes. No. She's the A word. No. Yes, why? I do everything. All Brian does is film. <laughs> why, because I don't do anything right? No, because that's just the way things have worked over the decade.